on the night of this crime, uh, corporate media outlets were plastering all over their media airwaves uh, the picture of a man named Mark Hughes. And this is Mark Hughes right here. And the police were trying to identify this suspect. He was the suspect in this crime, right? But why did the media plaster him as a suspect? Yeah. Why'd they do that? He had a he had a gun on him. Yeah, that's the only reason why they yeah. oh there's another reason. Yeah. He was black and he had a gun. Yes, so right. that's the they automatically had a assumption right. or a presumption about oh who could the killer be and what could he have looked like. Right. So that was the, you know, closest and most viable thing in their mind. So right. that must be the guy. So let's plaster his face. Mm -hmm. Not only that, not only plastering his face for all of the world to see, yeah. let's not offer any uh, details mm -hmm. surrounding uh, the situation yeah. involving this particular per person. And what was that situation, Well, When this crime was taking place, he had handed over this gun, his gun to the police because he didn't want to be seen as the perpetrator. So he tried to help. He tried to help. There were a lot of people trying to help the yeah. police officers. Mm -hmm. He was one of them and his brother too. Mm -hmm. He handed it over. They didn't really know what was going on. Their phones had died. They didn't really know what was going on. Um, his brother turned yeah. on his phone because he got uh, one of the he uh, one of the reporters right. had a charger and he used yeah, a charger. He and when he that. turned his phone on, it was like he was seeing that his blasted. brother was, was all over TV as mm -hmm. the suspect in this crime. So okay, they you know they were brought in for questioning, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay, so they were released. Okay, of course, because they weren't the suspects. And there's video there's as the shooting is taking place. There's video of him of talking, Mark Hughes. talking to law enforcement. Yes, and had, of him handing the gun over. Yes. Now, why didn't the media show that? Right. The media did not show that, and as of today, the media is still not showing that. Corporate media outlets have not cleared his name. Now, they have been very uh, loose mm -hmm. with this. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, they they say that there was a suspect that they thought was the suspect, but he was questioned and released. They didn't say it was Mark Hughes. They didn't show his picture again and say this was not the guy. And he's been getting uh, thousands of death threats. Yeah, thousands of death threats because you indicted him in the case of public opinion now, right? I mean, on the what? night of the crime, you plastered his picture all over and you said, this is the suspect that we're looking for. Wait, uh, uh, and now afterwards, everybody thinks it's him and you're not doing anything about it. It's kind of interesting because that's the very thing that the same media, this corporate media, mm -hmm. tends to say not to do when it comes to law enforcement and cops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they usually are reluctant to plaster the picture of any cop until they have at least uh, some of the facts. Yeah. At this point, they didn't have any facts. Yeah. It was irresponsible journalism yeah. because, like I said, they, there were multiple video images, pictures, stills of this guy uh, talking to police officers at the time of the shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, just a little bit of um, <laughs> a little bit of journalism. But see, what trumps journalism, what trumps people's responsibility as far as their job goes, what trumps that, though, their biases, yeah. their personal biases, right. you know what I'm saying? Their need to create a narrative comes first. And right. it's to me, it's not even a narrative of the networks, per se. Mm -hmm. It's the narrative of a particular type of mindset right. that wants to see uh, certain people blamed for this mm -hmm. and that transpires through the networks you know what I'm saying and that's why people had the reaction death threats mm -hmm. and then not actually wanting clarification on the story and ignoring it too not just the people that believed it but the networks themselves Yeah. even if it had to do with exonerating someone and then making their life easier they kind of tell me that they don't care about that yeah you know so, again, so again, you know, we're going to show Mark Hughes picture again. Mark Hughes had nothing to do with this crime. So share this video, share uh, his brother, his brother's video as well is online. We posted that on our Facebook page. 
sh you know, share these videos so that the world can see that these men had nothing to do with this crime because the mainstream media, the corporate media are not doing it for them and their lives could be in jeopardy now. And you know, and the, that's, cr and that's crazy. And, and like what thing, another thing that makes me a little upset is because some of these same people who claim they don't trust the media, mm -hmm. they don't, they claim this, but yet they are still willing to swallow what the media gives them. Yeah. Notice that? And they're fine with it. Yeah.